gift of grace is Jesus my Redeemer. There is no more for heaven now to give. He is my joy, my righteousness and freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. To this I hold thinking about freedom and the freedom that's been afforded us by those who have uh, served our country well 
even to the point of dying so that we might have freedom. And freedom is one of those things that I think we all hold near and dear to us. It is an important part of, of what we hold up as something that is important for us. But I think we sometimes are convinced by our world that security is the most reliable indicator of freedom. In other words, if we're safe, we will be free. And I think that, that what that does is that kind of creates this kind of understanding that what we have to do is create this kind of bubble around us. And we think of, well, we need to be safe as a country. And so we need all of that stuff. And there are parts of it where we do. But we put too much emphasis on that. We sometimes think of, well, if we just are safe economically, if we have enough money that we can take care of ourselves, then we're going to be free. Or we may even think of it in terms of our own personal security, that if I'm safe, then I will be free. And I think that's a, that's a, that's a misleading response to what freedom is. Freedom is not about security, particularly for those who know Jesus Christ as Lord. Because Jesus comes at it from a completely different perspective, and you see that perspective throughout all of Scripture. For Scripture says that freedom is based in obedience rather than security. That's a paradox for us. That's, a, that's something that's hard for us to get our heads around. But if you think about it, what is the thing that will really cause, give you the freedom that we all want? Is it having enough money? Is it having enough protections around us in whatever form they may take? I don't think it is. Because when push comes to shove, it's really about who are you before the God of all creation. And if you are secure in your relationship with the God of all creation, then it doesn't matter what happens in this world. I'm not saying you have to be reckless. I'm not saying you have to abandon everything. But what I'm saying is you don't put your security in that. You don't put your hope in that. It is about obedience to Christ. That is what truly releases us from the things of this world that are posed to us as this is what will bring you the freedom that you desire. It's obedience. It's not security of this world. Because this world is not secure. All you need to do is, is read the news, pick up the, the latest from the internet. There is not security in this world. It is in obedience to Jesus Christ. And Jesus is the one who even said that in Matthew when he says, If you seek to save your life, you will lose it. But if you lose your life for my sake, you will find it. You will have the true freedom that we all desire. What does it mean to lose your life? It means to be obedient. It means to do the things that Christ asks of us. And so throughout this week, as we are thinking about all the things that bring us freedom, Help us to understand that those are just shadows of true freedom. Because the true freedom that is afforded us is when we are obedient to Jesus and his desires for us. You want freedom in your life? Obey Christ. So ask yourself, where are those places in my life where my, where my desires for freedom, my desires for security are misplaced? And then say, what can I do 
to reorient them in obedience to Christ. That's our call. That's what we need to be about. And so I invite you to think about what that looks like in your life today. We'll just let the dogs bark here for a minute and then they'll be ready to go. <laughs> uh, let me pray. Lord, thanks for today. Thanks for all you do. And Lord, we thank you that you call us to a life that is different from the world. Where we put our trust, we put our security in not the things of this world, but in you and you alone. And we demonstrate that through our obedience to you. Help us to do that even this week. Thanks, Jesus. Amen. Rehearsals have started for community theater that will be um, in July. And so part of our call is to come alongside the, the uh, cast to let them know they are loved and they are cared for with the love of Jesus Christ. And so there are lots of ways to do that. Not only just coming and supporting the, the, the uh, performances, but also helping out even on Saturday rehearsals. There's lots of ways we can just be kind and show them a little bit of love of Christ. Um, so I would uh, invite you to think about how we might go about doing that. There is information uh, in, the, in this news email that can tell you how to begin to do that. Also, just want to let you know that um, we are going to be having a community barbecue on the 22nd of June on Thursday. And it's not just for the community of faith, but it's for the larger community. So this is a great opportunity just to invite some people in. We're going to have some uh, hot dogs and, and hamburgers. Um, I'm going to even maybe make a little bit of chicken for people. Um, so um, just come and be a part of it, and uh, it'll be a great experience. So come, and uh, there's details again in this email. And uh, it's a great chance to invite neighbors just to come out and enjoy some time together. So I hope you take advantage of that. I'll talk with you soon. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.